All right, guys, so it's Monday, and uh, give you a little bit of an update here. Oh, my face is super dirty because Andrew's been sanding. <laughs> so Andrew came in on Saturday for a few hours here and um, knocked some stuff out that some was on camera of, of um, sanding on time lapse and everything that you'll see. So the whole front clip is off. Um, it's, I don't know, spread around the shop. Um, the one fender is back there that's gonna get used instead of that junk one. Um, the hood really didn't need too much on it. And then, you know, there's some, yep. There's some valence stuff over here that we'll have to uh, get ready to shoot and everything. So the roof is for the most part um, sanded down to bare metal. Um, and the top half of the quarter, same on opposite side. Yeah, basically. Doors, keep in mind, we got the new ones, so those aren't going to even get touched, which is kind of nice, because again, there was, um, seven layers of paint that we had counted there, so this is kind of taking a while. Um, we've got the one DA up there that locks, so it acts more as a grinder, and then go over it with the the actual DA. But here's our big, big issue right now. Um, you remember over here where there was this spot that I was like, oh no, that sucks in this big, thick filler. Well, it turns out that that filler um, runs all the way up to there and continues the arch all the way around where we're finding more rot. So, our main focus now is going to be getting all this quarter panel down to the bare steel and figure out what the heck's going on. And uh, after that's done, I'll focus on getting this quarter panel patched and most likely Andrew will keep knocking off the other side. Uh, the other side wasn't near as bad. Um, you can see all of our little test spots there. There's not much for filler, a little tiny bit, but again, we've got rust holes. So pretty disappointing there, but nothing that can't be tackled. And again, keeping in mind, these two quarter panels are basically the last things before we can start laying primer and paint. I guess technically the fenders still need to be sanded, but I don't think that's gonna be that bad. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, Andrew's got another camera set up there with time lapse. So we'll show you eight hours of work in 20 seconds time. So there you have it. All right, guys, so Andrew has this quarter down to um, bare metal here for the most part. And that part, not that bad. But then once you follow this lip, it is all banged up and dented and bent and a little bit more rust there. I'm trying to hit all the right angles so you can see. And then he was saying back this part had a good fair amount of filler on it. So I threw this quarter extension back on and everything was good up top. But at the very bottom here, um, there's maybe like an eighth inch of 
the quarter extension sticking out past this. So I really, really, really don't want to re-quarter this car. I really don't want to. So I'm going to do some debating tonight, do some researching, and see what I can come up with um, and what I ultimately decide. Otherwise, tomorrow I'm probably going to take the, um, the little stud welder and go along here and run the slide hammer, see if I can pull some of this back out and get that to line up and knock down some of these high spots and pull up some of these low spots and see if I can just really get some hammer dolly work done on it and do the best I can and then, you know, weld up some of these issues and then go through it with uh, kitty hair and then a really light coat of filler. I think I can get it straight, but I don't want to recorder this at all. The other side, Andrew, you didn't do anything over here, right? No. Uh, there's a couple. Just the, yeah, the spots we saw earlier. But, so this side, I guess, yeah, those are the spots that we've more recently found out, but we haven't dug deeper um, yet today. But I don't honestly think that this side's going to be bad. I think our problem I'm, side. I'm not finding anything on the rockers either. Okay. Yeah, I think our problem side is, is right here. So that's kind of only as far as today got. So today's going to be a, a video added with tomorrow because there's no point in putting up a three-minute video. But there's that. And then, um, yeah, basically that's all that happened. Fender's still got to get sanded and whatnot. But, oh, yeah, I guess that too, the – cab overs out of here and the Camaro's pushed up over there um yeah I have a little bit of room in here just mostly because this thing's gonna be the main focus here for the next couple weeks so this gives some walk around room also some some area to lay out parts and whatnot but there you have it we'll get cracking at it again tomorrow and see what we can figure out okay so we came out to my favorite place coolies because I knew they had this Mustang out here, but it's totally not going to be any help for a rear quarter. So that kind of stinks. Um, there's really nothing good on this car. So sad to see a 69 Fastback sitting out here. There's a Chevelle over there too. Yeah, the bar might be decent. No, we don't want that. There's a brand new one on the car already anyway. Here's a 70 Chevelle two-door. That's kind of sad that's out here too. Oh, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, I really did not want to do a quarter on that, but the more I look at it, I don't want to sit there and try and mess around with trying to straighten it out. So I will be ordering a quarter really sucks because now I'm gonna have to wait for shipping um there's a 59 caddy I really want but they've done a lot of cleaning up and reorganizing out here so after all the snow melts uh I'll come back out and do another video for you guys I've also found some other yards um within the a few hours of here so I'll be doing some other junkyard exploration this year, but yep. So it was a flop out here. So gonna order one now. There you have it. All right, guys, so it's the end of the day Tuesday. Um, 
Fender is down to bare steel. There's two small little dingers I'm going to work out there. Um, Andrew got the door off, all the gasket, stripping, chrome, windows, scoops, all that stuff. I still got it the other side. Yeah, driver's side's good. Um, I started doing a little bit of the, the light dings on the top there. Um, I did decide to quarter this. I'm going to do it in a way that I think half of you are going to get mad at me and do, basically it's from here and then it actually avoids the scoop because for whatever reason, the ones that they sell, um, CJ Pony, um, basically all the patch panel places that I found that have sold them, you have two options for fastback. One option is the entire quarter and it comes up to here and that's 69 specific. And it's $450, and they had $350 shipping, so $800 panel. Um, otherwise, CJ Pony also had, from this line down from there to door jam, and they say that's a 69 and 70, but it doesn't have the scoop. It just goes flat across that. Um, and then it doesn't have that little marker light there either. But... Uh, that one is $123 with free shipping. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to cut there, come down, go across and then down. Um, basically just eliminate all of our dent stuff. The other thing that's going to make half of you guys real mad, I'm going to use panel bonds. So those who haven't seen it, I'll show you. We've used it a hundred times and I've loved it a hundred times. Um, we'll, we'll go over that when time comes, but, uh, unfortunately I'm thinking shipping is probably going to be a week and a half or two weeks. I feel like any time I order from CJ Pony, they're great to deal with, but they're ungodly slow for shipping. So we're moving on to some of the other stuff. Um, as you saw in the time lapse, the rear window is out, cleaning up some of the gasket stuff. Um, a couple of the other parts got down to bare steel. Um, Oh, I don't think there's much more than that that got done. So the other thing that I wanted to point out, um, when you see our time lapse on sanding, the the day that Andrew did the roof, the entire roof took like five hours real time, and that time lapse video came out to 27 seconds. So some of these, you know, uh, it doesn't look like we're doing a lot, but it is, and also that's why like one day we might not get a video up because it doesn't really make sense to show you eight hours of sanding condensed into 45 seconds. So just to kind of give you a little bit of insight on that, but there you have the inside. I mean, she's all getting gutted. This is one of those situations where you kind of step back and you hate it because it looked so great coming in. And then when she actually, yeah, so once you tear into it, it just, I don't know, it gets overwhelming at times, but scoops are out, um, those are going to obviously get sanded and everything, which there's the original color behind them, so they've never been out before, but yeah, so then there's some other things that we are going to go over, um, this panel that was put in is just self-tapped in the rear, so it's going to get actually some spot welds there, so I feel a little better about that. But there you have it. Uh, this is end of Tuesday. And I think that's all she wrote for today. I think the front glass is going to come out too. But we have a list of things on the board there to keep us on track. So There's a lot more to add to that list too. Yeah, well, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> there you have it, guys.